Hey guys, what is going on? Deboki here once again. I am here on Straddle, doing some dailies right now, and I thought I'd go ahead and hit the record button, get a little day with the Straddle going on, another adventure. I'm level 206 right now. I really appreciate y'all enjoying the last Totem Talks. Mom is doing really good right now, so thank you. Thank you for all the comments and uh, all the support. Really appreciate you guys. I spent some time doing some bosses on Fresh Bulbs and Gentle Straws, so I do have some more Meso. Uh, not that much though, it's not like a crazy amount, but you know, I'm, I think I almost have like a bill worth of Mesos at the moment, which would be nice to get some cubing done. Also kind of wanted to do a little Gatchpon. I usually do at least one Gatchpon run with a new character, just to kind of, you know, initiate them into the Deboki family. Make sure that they're feeling the warmth and the love with a little cash shop surprise. So um, I did want to go ahead and hit up the Gatchpon and see what the new updates are all about with that. Speaking of cash shop though, uh, if you guys saw some of the changes that are happening in cash shop, or I should say the updates that came out within cash shop, it's kind of nuts. Um, they introduced the VAC pets which I'll go ahead and show you guys really quick here. Let's go ahead and just pop into Cash Shop. If you notice right here, we got Dusk, Dawn, and Little Glowy. So these three pets, each worth 99,000 NX. And so these are gonna be the VAC pets now. So you'll last for 90 days, it looks like. And then you'll have to purchase a Luna Petite Water of Life that will last 30 days. So every 30 days you'll have to buy this to revive your VAC pets. It seems a little pricey, man. It does seem a little pricey. I mean, I do have 245K NX right now. Just this is my um, Bean Brigade spending money. But even, even with this, I'm kind of like looking at these big purchases and I don't know. I, I might get one. I might get one on maybe fresh bulbs. Yeah, I think they're pretty adorable. I, I, I like I like the pet choices, the designs. Wisp Wondrous Wonderberries are here as well, which that's always a really fun one. Now, if I didn't get the Bean Brigade NX, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. Would I get the VAC pets? Probably not. Um, I mean, that's just, that's kind of pricey. I feel like... It would be more justified if like the vac pets maybe lasted longer or maybe even permanent but that would be really broken also i feel like you know um so i i understand why they kind of made it that approach also the, the whole thing on like it costing the premium water of life to revive is a little bit strange to me too uh, i feel like maybe it would have been better if it was just like the regular water of life that would have been cool you know uh but you know i guess maple's got to make their money too and um this is a very powerful pet to have which will turn the tides of meso farming and so forth if being able to have a consistent vac pet out i think it's um players that are really looking forward to that they'll probably pick that one up. But getting all three and maintaining all three, is there a purpose to have three VAC pets? I don't think so. You know, that that's just more of a flex right there. People that want to go ahead and like support all three VAC pets. Like, man, that's crazy. I don't think your vacuum power will be more powerful with three, but who knows? Maybe some of the whales can test that one out for us. Um, yeah, I might buy one on Fresh Bulbs. Node Stones, I've been really trying to get as well. Ooh, I got the good one. That's actually a really nice skill there. I remember this on my Shadower. Shadow Walker, um, you're able to stay invisible and stealth while you're attacking. So this would be really cool for like bursting. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my Mesos, my hard-earned Mesos. Gonna get some cubes and these flames. This was all from the weekly bosses that I was doing on my other characters. I feel like the John Treasures ring would be a nice little cubing thing to hit. I might hit this up actually right now really quick with these Meisters or these Master Craftsmen. See if I can rank it up to unique at least. That'd be really cool. Someone in the comments was like kind of mad at me for cubing from with red cubes and black cubes from epic to unique. and Because I guess they wanted me to use these Master Craftsmen cubes. I feel like... I would just have a better chance using like black cubes, like a better rate up chance, but I can definitely see that. I think you can just buy these Master Craftsmen for 7.5 mil here in the store. Maybe we can like do a little test. So let's let's do a little test then. Um, at least, I, I guess this is a really bad test because I've cubed both of these a little bit and also I've 
it, you can't really test it with like one test case. You're gonna have to have multiple. I'm gonna try to cube one. We'll cube the treasure hunter's ring with just purely master craftsman cubes um, from Epic. And I'll cube the royal black metal shoulder with black cubes and see how many each one takes to get from epic to unique. We'll just cube right here. I think this will be a good testing spot right in Vanishing Journey. So treasure hunter ring, I'll go ahead and toss on master craftsman cubes and we'll just kind of count here. So oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm going to keep going until I hit unique. That's going to be the plan. So this will be three cubes or five cubes. Sorry about that. Five cubes. Oh, dude, and it hits me with the 9% luck as well. It's, it's for the experiment, man. Experiment. All right, so we got five cubes here, the five Master Craftsmans. I'll purchase six. So we got six cubes now. And I'll go ahead and continue, see how many this takes. And so in total, this is going to be 11. 11 cubes, right? All right, so that's 11. Um, I'll purchase nine more. So we'll get to 20. Oh, that max HP, I like that. You guys know I like that HP and defense stat. So this is going to be um, up to 20 here. We're still at epic. Now, it might seem like a lot, right? But you gotta remember, these Master Craftsman cubes, they do cost a lot less than black cubes. So we're gonna have to also take account of just the price, like how much mesos it costed. Um, and we'll just kind of see, I'll purchase 10 more. All right, 10 more cubes here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on. And this will be 30 in total. Okay, so we're at 30. Oh my gosh, that int. Um, so we're at 30 Master Craftsman cubes. All right, we'll buy 10 more now. This might break my bank, but I think it'll be good to kind of just get a feel. Just maybe if we see it with our own eyes a little bit on what's happening here behind the scenes. So I'm at 40 cubes now. I might not be able to even finish this experiment. I might be running out of mesos before I can. So I'll be buying 10 more Master Craftsmen here. I think this is 50. Okay, so that's 50. 60 cubes here with the Master Craftsman and it has not gone to unique yet. But again, remember, these are going to be uh, cheaper rolls in a way. I think I want to chill at 60 right now because I might be going broke All right, let's let's hold on really quick. All right, so that was 60 60 of these master craftsmen's and they're still it's still epic So 60 times 7.5 is that 450 mil did I just spend 450 mil on these cubes? So wow that was that was 450 mil all right, that I dropped on this. Let me go into cash shop and buy some black cubes. All right, so how much are black cubes again? Let's see. Black cubes for a stack is 132 for six. All right, 264 mil for 12 black cubes. Okay, we're gonna stand next to this tree. Hopefully that doesn't change up our experiment too much. And I'm gonna go ahead and cube the shoulder with 12 black cubes. So I'm gonna have to see exactly. We're gonna just roughly see how many cubes this takes, but we're gonna take 12, all right? All right, nothing is tearing up then, I guess. <laughs> okay, nothing is tearing up. 12 black cubes did not tear up the item. Both of these just don't wanna tear up, I don't think. Um, let me go ahead and buy one more set of black cubes. 18 black cubes in total. Look at all that HP. Oh my gosh, all right, so it finally tears up. That, um, so that was at 12 plus four, so that's 16. So 16 black cubes tiered this up to unique. This roughly took me like 370 mil to tier this up to unique. This, we're, we're spending about 450 on just the Master Craftsman cubes, and it is still not, it is still not unique. This one is just, it seemed like the black cubes, it was a lot cheaper. It was a lot cheaper to tier this up to unique. Like, I feel like the test wasn't like very accurate, you know? But I've always been kind of curious, like what kind of feels better to cube with. To me, I don't think the Master Craftsman's feel so great to cube with. Like I wouldn't buy them from the general store like that. I would probably just use them, like get them as drops, to be honest. Um, I just, I like the actual cubes a lot better. Uh, maybe it's just, there could be studies. There could be like mass studies on it too, like you know what actually does have the better probability or whatnot, what you should be using. Let me go and hit this up a few more times here. Try to get this at least to like a 9% luck or you know, we're trying to hope for a tear up, but oh my gosh, wait a second. 
<laughs> Alright, this item is done. <laughs> this item is finished. Wow. That was uh that was a really big hit right there. So I just did a little work here on my Chaos Horntail necklace. Got myself uh, you know, just it to six percent luck. And look at that. Seven set item equipped, which is gonna be really nice. Gives us a pretty good boost there on the stats and the attack front. What am I sitting at right now? Like loosely buffed. 536k. That is wonderful. So half a mil. <laughs> getting there. It's definitely getting there. Now I do want to try out really quick. Um, or at least just take a look. Is there a ring that I can get? This alien fragment ring. Is this something that's potential? Bull? Potential bull? No. The answer is no. You cannot potential this ring. <laughs> Never mind. I, I thought you were maybe able to, but you can only potential these three here, um, which is totally cool. What what I might do is though just do one run, and if I do get a belt or a ring, then I might try to roll with it. Again, they're just going to be like very, very just loose placeholders here, just to be able to try to fill out a little like slots just temporarily wise. So if you've never done this before, um, you get three, uh, or maybe two? two chances for an item drop you got to clear out these stages and in the boss stages you'll have a chance to get an item drop you can do this i think up to three times and i remember when the aliens first came out in maple story everyone wanted these weapons it just thought they were so cool all these vip weapons costs so much in fm billions and billions of mesas which is crazy it's crazy to think about like there was stuff that was selling for that much back then um, and you're able to sell stuff that for that much. That's one thing I really do miss, I think, about just MapleStory in general was the market system and really just the free market in general. I think that was such a cool feature to have and I mention this a lot, but I think it's such an important thing to have when building a community is having a good kind of auction house. I, but I think MapleStory did it really unique though because a lot of games right now they do auction houses, right? Like MapleStory even transferred over into an auction house implementation. But before, um, it was just the free market where you literally physically have to set up a shop in order to sell your items, which would require you to leave your computer on. And it's a very old school way of doing things. Auction houses, of course, makes a lot more sense now because you can just go AFK. Or not AFK, but you can just enlist your item up there and then you don't have to like tend to it. It's just on the auction house listed. So it's, it's smart. It, it's definitely is smart, but it was just something about it where when you see another player's shop and it's just, it feels a lot more you're connected. It was probably one of my favorite things about MapleStory was selling, selling items. It really got me excited. Uh, it just kind of gave me like a sense of life things like I think selling things like and setting up a shop was like almost like Life skills or something, you know, which I really appreciated in games. I Really enjoyed that. That's why I like really love those games too where you like you have to set up your shop and you sell things I think there's a few games. I play like Ro Rotella shop keeper or something like that I, I, I forget the name of it, but it was pretty cute you like go dungeon crawling a little bit for items. You're like a shopkeeper. And then at the end of the day, after you've gotten all your items, then you can set up your shop um, and adventures. People come by and warriors, mages, archers, you know, will all come by to your shop and kind of see what you have to offer, I guess, to sell. And I thought it was just, it was really fun. It gave me that kind of feel for like MapleStory. Like I really love Reboot's playstyle, don't get me wrong. I think the self-progression and the free-to-play like farming mesos to kind of progress is really cool. And that would have been like a really awesome thing too is if they like made those pets, you know, those like vac pets or something like able to be purchased with meso in-game currency. I think that'd be really awesome, but I know the markets aren't kind of suited for that. Um, but yeah, again, just the reason why I've really enjoyed. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see if we get lucky with this before I continue that thought because this is the first boss. So I'm going to hit him with the debuff, see if I can get lucky with this drop. Uh, does it happen? Oh, VIP axe, I think. VIP one handed axe. Oh, man. Well, it's cool that we still got something, though. Um, 
but yeah uh you know just the whole reboot is is really cool with the, the self progression the cubes just by being able to buy the cash shop items with cubes i i just i love being able to play the game to progress my character because i guess i have fallen into the trap of cubes on regular servers before you know uh, back when i used to play a while back and the cubes were first released it got expensive man it got really really expensive all right here we are final stage final stage so this one should drop two i think there's two bosses that spawn here but let me just keep on going ahead and just hit this down hopefully we get one accessory drop i'll be really happy actually just to see any accessory drop at this point i'm just gonna continue to hit it with this we got the s rank and oh a pendant dropped whoa is that a pendant that is a pendant dang okay so i mean dude these are always just so juicy and it's got luck plus seven percent that is absolutely juicy the thing is though you know the boss set the boss set is just so good right now for me if i take away one pendant i lose that seven stack set there so i mean if i did get like an eighth one or a tenth one you know where i'm not really suffering too much with like one loss then maybe it's just oh i love i love seeing that pendant drop it feels so nice okay first thing i'm gonna do hit up the wisp wonderberry let's see what we get from this a permanent pet like a small little cute pet permanent pet those are the ones that i want let me go ahead and take a look here wisp wonderberry what do you got in that beautiful berry show me a cutie okay well it's a panda i mean dude that's that's kind of my og animal right there what a mixture of pets here well, let me go ahead and check out the gatch pond you know it's always fun to see what gatch pond has updated always the chairs are super fun i think the spring chairs now are out again no monster pots no chair bags and again did i say no monster pots no no monster pots yeah no monster pots okay let's let's get it going six title holder bro that's not the play 20 title <laughs> oh my gosh. all right already this is super painful uh let's go again permanent confession teddy mount all right that sounds kind of cute again with the 10 title holder i don't even have a single title can you give me a title pastel bicycle mount all right another mount cherry blossom chair that sounds really cute 20 slot chair bag dude no no more no more spring flower chair that sounds cute as well of course you got to get one potion the jet damage skin i'll have to check that out and the 10 slot chair bag dude this th this run was a little bit garbo I'm gonna be honest with you guys that was pretty bad I have enough title holders and chair bags to support probably the whole maple story community right now I will go ahead and check out a chair now so this is gonna be the cherry blossom chair oh wait <laughs> I thought it was gonna be big um okay I mean that's that's a very just clean looking chair right there my hair covers up most of that chair to be honest okay it's it's i'm, I'm guessing this is going to be really small <laughs> you can't even see the chair my hair oh i i got a little bit robbed this run i think maple story got mad at me for making fun of their thousand or sorry a hundred dollar pets and cash shop right now they didn't like that they you could tell they took it a little personal i like this quite a bit um th this like this animation on the flowers kind of going around your wheels like that when you're riding that's super adorable very very nice it really fits straddle too i think i could see straddle like riding a bike like that all right let's go ahead and check out this permanent confession teddy mount <laughs> oh, wait what the heck all right well that's pretty good oh look at that if i'm faced this way though it's spelled backwards so i gotta always be faced this way dude this will be perfect i can confess to people now I, th I feel like i have to like approach them first like casually and then open up with the mount you know you can't just be riding up to them on the mount or they think that you're not serious bempy here is my first target i will try to confess so i'll first kind of approach shyly you know pretend i don't really know him and i'll turn around and give him the chair all right he didn't he didn't want any of it 
He didn't want any of that. Actually, when you push down, you like sit down on your heart. <laughs> That's really cute. I, I like this chair a lot. Sorry, it's not a chair. It's a mount. I like this mount a lot. No one wants me, man. Let me try to go find some love really quick. Give me a second. There's, there's, there's someone. Wait. I think that's my friend. Is that Chad? That was cheating. I mean, I know Chad. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I don't think I did that much, actually, in this video. I, well, I did get a little gains. This is actually pretty nice. I am super happy about these shoulders. Um, but yeah, the experiment. I might do some more experimenting later. I just don't have that much mesos to experiment with. If you guys prefer cubing, tearing up epic to unique with master craftsmen or black cubes, definitely let me know. Um, wanted to see what your guys' thoughts were on that as well. So far, I'm leaning towards black cubes. I like black cubes for tearing up. I think it's just a lot a lot more uh, satisfying. It feels better, maybe. I know Master Craftsman's, though. You can get them from bosses and so forth. I mean, I'll definitely use those if they're for free, but I don't think I'd go out of my way to buy those in the shop. Well, appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much again for watching. Much love, one love. This has been Deboki, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.